Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today is a big day. It is Sunday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and we have two major things probably going to impact the market today. First thing is squad battle rewards, and the second thing is price range updates. I think the updates have to come here very soon. These guys have been extinct over the weekend. If they don't come today... Then I think they would come pretty early on Monday because maybe EA just doesn't work on the weekend or whatever. They've upgraded price range on the weekend before. So honestly, uh, just to start this off, to be fully, completely transparent, I think that what EA is doing with these price ranges, it's get wor it gets worse and worse every single year. There's more and more cards that it seems almost are intentionally set at price ranges that will make them go extinct in order that EA can play with the market and can tinker with the market and make things happen, make people actually lose points. It's almost what they're trying to do. Leaving these cards extinct for so long just adds up the supply. They know people are gonna invest in them and it makes other cards go up because people can't buy, you know, Rodrigo, they can't buy Werner, they can't buy Gabriel Jesus, so they go and buy Lacazette, Richarlison, and other strikers, and then those prices go down because the you know the other strikers are actually now on the market, so people can buy them. So we're gonna talk about that tonight, and also uh, the price range updates, how that's gonna affect the market, and squad battle rewards because squad battle rewards is gonna give us some supply. What is that gonna do to lower rated cards? What is that going to do? to meta cards that people can want to continue to invest in. But the price ranges are honestly the biggest thing because I don't think we understand just how many coins are in this market at this early stage of the game with the rivals placement and with just the amount of extra coins that has brought onto this game. Um, now, I haven't even finished my rivals placements yet. I've got three games in. I got to do a couple more yet. Um, but it is just very easy to get coins with those rivals placements. And then, you know, with just trading and with the market being high, people are getting more and more coins and they've invested a lot of coins into these extinct players. A lot of people have their transfer list chuck full with the Havertz, with guys like Mbabu, with guys like, um, you know, Werner, Martial, Adama Traore. We have guys all the way down from like 77 rated Mbabu. I think he's 77 rated. Extinct at 17K. And we also have very high priced guys that are extinct as well. Um, you know, like Fred, not Fred is one of them, but you know, Werner being extinct, um, Havertz being extinct, Martial being extinct at 155K and at 72K on the Xbox is kind of crazy. Um, so the biggest thing with these price ranges is when the, the ranges update and everybody goes to sell, there's a lot of stuff we can talk about with this because it's honestly just mental. And I'm going to show you a graph today of what it's going to kind of look like when these ranges get updated. Now, I'm showing you Erling Haaland's graph because he actually had a big performance IRL today. So he's in the running to get an inform. But let's just use this graph here because it paints the picture of what's going to happen when a price range update happens. Let's just use this as an example, right? Let's say that right here at this point, Holland was extinct at 100K and that was, his price, that was his price max, right? The price max gets updated. His price immediately booms up because the price range will get updated. People start listing lower and lower and lower, trying to get their sales. And what happens is the people that list right away, their card does not sell. So they come back an hour later and they undercut and people continue to, to undercut. And at a point, the price is high, right? But then it keeps coming down because nobody's buying the card. The listings that supply from the people who invested in that item are just driving the price down, down, down. And it almost gets to as low as it was when it was quote unquote extinct here in our example. The prices will, for some of these cards after they get updated, you know, we're talking about Gabriel Jesus or um, maybe some of the lower rated guys that have a lot of supply like Adama Traore or Mbabu or Militao possibly or, you know, some of those lower rated players that are extinct, their prices might actually drop down to the same point or even below where they were before they were extinct. But then what happens after that is if they're hype enough, if they're meta enough, and especially this year with more coins in the game, there's probably going to be a rise after that. So there's a lot of things that we can talk about with this and go into a little bit deeper detail. But I want this to paint the picture of to you guys of what's going to happen when the range updates happen. It's going to go up. Then the, that selling is going to come through because people have had time to snipe these cards to invest in them. The price is going to dip down if it's really meta. And if that player is in high demand, they're going to rise back up a little bit, kind of like Holland did here. He went from 100K to 130, down to 105, and then back up to 117. So that's kind of like a big up and then a little bit of a crash and then a little bit of a rebound. So 
that's what I think you guys can expect with the price range updates. Now, what is going to affect the rest of the market is also a big thing to talk about too. This is the biggest thing that I want to talk about related to just prices in general across this game. Premier League strikers in particular. We have four Premier League strikers that are extinct right now. Timo Werner. Um, we have an extinct Gabriel Jesus, an extinct Rodrigo, and an extinct Anthony Martial. Four strikers in the Prem, right? Four strikers in one single position, in one single league. That is just, the people that are wanting to buy a Prem striker in this game right now, Jamie Vardy they can't buy because he's out of packs. He's got an informant's in packs, right? They have so limited options because of all these guys that are extinct. If you look at some of these prices, it's really making sense that a lot of these guys are getting overpriced because there's just a lack of options, especially in that higher tier range. Roberto Firmino being 115,000 coins. That is more than last year. It doesn't make sense. I think so. But Richarlison and Lacazette are the two that I want to talk about, especially because of Gabriel Jesus and because of Rodrigo not being available on the market. These two players' cards are inflated because people have no other option but to buy one of those two. Richarlison's basically 50K. That's where uh, Gabriel Jesus is extinct at. I think that Richarlison and Lacazette and possibly Firmino and Aguero and even Aubameyang could drop when the price ranges get updated. Aubameyang is very OP. I played against him. He's very good. But a guy like Werner has the hype. People want to play with Werner. People want to play with Anthony Martial. So I think what's going to happen is people that go and are using Richarlison, Firmino, Aguero, they're going to maybe sell some of those cards to go use some of the new players that are actually available on the market now after the price ranges update. So that is a big thing that I think some players that are currently doing really well on the market, if you've got a Richarlison or if you invested in a Richarlison or a Lacazette or maybe even a Bamiang, maybe not a Bamiang, but uh, Richarlison for sure and Lacazette for sure, I would highly consider taking the money because when those options, when those up ranges do update, I feel like these cards do have an opportunity to drop on the market in terms of just there's more players that are going to be added to that pool of available items to purchase same thing with left mids and left wings in the prime we have a couple guys that are extinct here at the moment uh, i believe bergwine diago jota are extinct and i think pulisic was extinct i think there was one more as well that i'm missing here but those are kind of like two mid-level cards that are extinct right now, I honestly think that Felipe Anderson is a bit overpriced at the moment, possibly Zaha, and Alan St. Maximin, I guess yes, a little bit possibly, uh, but he just has the Gucci headband hype, so that's just kind of hard to read and to watch out for, but I'd just be careful with, if you have Felipe Anderson, I feel like people might want to use Bergwijn uh, over him, maybe, he's got the four-star, four-star, Bergwijn has, you know, a two-star weak foot, I believe, um, but I'm just saying that as we add these options become more available on the market. It just, it's more substitute goods that this market has that will probably drop some prices in the same price range where those players are, if that makes sense, just because there are more options available. Now, again, back to what I looked at with the Holland graph and how I feel like that stuff is going to go, right? Since a lot of these people have invested in these cards and, and they're, they're sitting with their transfer list full of these, in, in snipe, these cards they've sniped and they're trying to flip for profit, whether they profit or not, this is going to be a lot of people that are now going to have coins that they're going to want to use and to either buy more cards for investing in them or buying cards for their teams. So I think that you might even see a rise in some areas of the market, especially some really meta players that are not extinct, maybe like an Usman Dembele or a Joe Gomez, a Hyunmin Sun possibly, or other areas of the market that are, you know, maybe not low, but still have some ways to go. Like this Gareth Bale card, a lot of people keep asking me about him. He's going to get a once to watch. Yes, we don't know if it's going to be team one or team two, but this is a card that I feel like some people might go out and buy after selling some of their, you know, investments, right? It just basically leaves people on the market with coins to go and do things, and that could make some cards rise. So this whole price range thing, it's massive. It has like, it has tons of market like implements and implement implementations. Wait, implications, that's the word, implications that could happen today with people making coins, losing coins, and just having more coins to go out and spend on stuff, as well as other players' prices dropping, other players rising, of course, the whole crazy market movement of the player that was extinct going really high after the range update, coming back down low, possibly being an investment at a, if you can time that perfect amount and seeing them bounce back. So this is honestly gonna be a crazy day if the price ranges do get updated. And on top of that, 
we've got squad battle rewards. This is the, re the mode that I've been telling you guys to spam uh, after obviously you do your placement matches. This is the mode that you wanna be spamming right now, especially if you're watching this video before the rewards actually come out on Sunday. You've got some time. I think it's 1 a.m. UK is when the rewards come out. The rewards look decent, and it's not going to be that hard to get into, you know, gold 2, gold 1, and get some decent packs. And what this is going to bring to the market is some supply. So hopefully, we see another opportunity or so on especially some of these inform cards. If you want to buy any of these for your team, a Ben Yedder, a Bruno Fernandez, a Vardy, a Lozano, a Suarez, any Upamecano... I would sincerely watch tonight in the first 30 minutes to an hour of squad battle rewards and also back, you know, squad battle rewards are at 1 a.m. UK. So a lot of the UK is asleep. Also check Monday morning UK, UK time at around 8 to 10 a.m. because sometimes people wake up, they open their rewards then and you see another kind of secondary dip in the market with supply. So watch those two times. For dips, if you want to buy any of these informs, because these cards are rare, they're only in packs for a few more days. They could also dip a little bit on Tuesday on early access when people who have pre-ordered the game can get back on and continue maybe opening some FIFA points. Because there's people that are getting on the game new like every single day. Uh, and that's why like trading with SPC solutions is working right now. Um, but you know, that's just gonna be kind of the timeline for these informs that you want to try to get them as soon as you can. And I think today, Sunday, might be a decent shout later tonight with squad battery rewards to pick some of these up. But for the rest of the market, if we look at like the homepage and all the meta golds, what is this gonna mean? It just means more supply for low rated cards. So again, I'd be careful with the guy like Alex Teixeira. This is in years past where we start to see some of those, you know, very starter team type cards. Like, you know, the guys that are below 80 rated. These, this is when they start to fall off because the supply starts to just overcome the demand because people are no longer wanting to use a 75 rated center back like Todibo, you know, or Kundi, like they're wanting to upgrade from this Todibo, you know, who is a 3000 coin card at the moment. He was more expensive, expensive than that earlier. They might want to upgrade from this to somebody like a Lucas Hernandez or a Kimpembe in their club. And, you know, obviously a better player that costs a bit more coins, but they're now getting coins from rewards to do that. So this is where kind of the beginning of the downfall is for a lot of the lower rated cards. Now, of course, if it's a really, really meta card, like a a player like this Kundi card who was extinct at 12K, which is kind of crazy to me, honestly. Adama Traore is another one. Like this card being extinct at, what is it, 15K or something like that? Um... Yeah, it's kind of, you know, a little bit crazy to me just because these guys are, you know, it's all he is is pace. He is meta because he's pacey and his price is going to start dropping, I think, around here. Now, again, there's so many more coins on the market this year that could cards that are low rated like Mbabu, like Militao, could they actually beat out since there's so many more coins on the market? Um, people that are getting the game right away are going to make more and be able to buy these more expensive players because they know they're meta at the start for their starter teams. Instead of buying somebody like Willian, who is 5,000 coins, you know, all around a better player can actually shoot and pass where, um, you know, Adama Traore cannot, but he's got 14 less pace than Adama Traore has, and he doesn't have the hype from last year's game of foot. So with the squad battle rewards tonight, I would just say be very careful with some of those low rated cards that you have, especially if it's not super meta. We could start to see kind of downfall of some of those and those, those prices dropping. Uh, but then supply should be around for the rest of these cards. And you're, that's why I mentioned like the first 30 minutes to an hour, because let's say it's somebody is on the market that you want to buy 82 rated Carrasco. Let's say you want him for your team, right? I would watch for undercuts in those first couple hours or so. We might see a dip, kind of like you saw this dip last night before we got into Saturday. You know, he might drop two or 3,000 coins, which is, you know, decently significant for a squad battle rewards supply where there's just not a lot of people on the game yet. But this could be a great opportunity for you guys to, to pick up on some investments that you have been wanting to pick up. Like, let's say a guy like Joe Gomez, right? He's almost 100,000 coins. I think, he, yep, okay, he's 100K. He's going to be a little bit over 100K by the time Squad Battle Rewards comes around, unless something crazy has happened on the market. What I would expect from this is maybe a Joe Gomez drops down to like mid to low 90s for like a very small amount of time, but then he shoots back up because people who made coins from squad battles are going to go out and buy those meta cards and improve their teams and buy cards like this and make them go higher same thing i mentioned about with gareth bale as well so again today's a crazy day if we get squad battle rewards 
and we get the price range updates for a lot of these cards, which it seriously is out of the top 50 most popular players that I was looking at on Flipbin, you know, on stream earlier tonight, 20 of the top 50 players were extinct, uh, which is mental. That is honestly mental that so many players are extinct and I just don't like it because EA is just controlling the market with these price ranges even more. I, I never liked it when they were, you know, implemented the first time. I still don't like them uh, because, you know, a guy like this Kundi card, 79 rated, he's probably getting packed a decent amount. When his price range actually gets upgraded, he might even drop below his original range because so many people have invested and they think it's going to go higher. Um, you know, maybe a guy like Fred is like that with some of the mids, midfielders in the Prem. But he, of course, he's Brazilian and he's GGMU, so he can still rebound. So it's really hard to tell with a lot of these cards that are extinct whether they're going to surpass their item, their, their price range from before, or if they're actually going to end up dropping because of overinvesting. All I'll say this is, I guarantee you there's going to be both sides of the scenario. Some card is going to be overinvested and it's going to drop. Some card is still going to rise up a lot after the price range update. And, you know, there are some good guesses that we can take out there. Like, you know, Vinicius is one that I'm kind of scared on as an 80 rated card being extinct at like 20K or something like that. But then there's also guys like um, um, Wijnaldum at 42,000 coins. And you look at De Young, who's 90K, Fabinho is 70K or 60K, and other center mids in the Prem that are more expensive than than, than Wijnaldum. And you think, wow, Wijnaldum is easily going to almost double in value. Or like Gabriel Jesus is easily going to be 60, 70,000 coins and be above that 50K range at the very minimum where he's extinct right now. So there's just a lot of question marks around these extinct cards today. All I would say is be careful, be attentive to Twitter because when those updates happen, a lot of people's investments are on the line. So people are going to be tweeting about it. They're going to be talking about it and they're going to be active. Um, I will try to tweet out when I see some of these ranges being updated as well. But as of right now, they are not updated. And I wanted to bring this video for you today just to talk through the whole gamut of things that could happen today with the updates to the ranges and to squad battle rewards. It might be a crazy Sunday slash Monday on the market. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.